Christ made the item of Paul, item of Christ. He imitates us of me, or I am of Christ. Yes, we must be strong. Secondly, we must be strong not only in faith, we must be strong in self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice, not to be entangled in the worldliness. Not to please men or please ourselves, but to please God. Be pleasing to God. It's our ambition to please God. Let us check. Many times we are weak. We tend to please men. We need to, we tend to please ourselves. We forgot about God. That's where we need to repent and come back to God. God is ever willing to receive us back. We can never be as bad as Paul. That's why a lot of people say, oh, I'm not worthy to become a Christian because I do so many bad things. How many people can be like Paul, who really persecuted Christians, who beat and get letters just to arrest Christians. You are doing none of all these things. Who say salvation is not for you? Don't wait. You need to tell our friends out there, those who are good, moral people, they are also hungry. Sometimes you can see them, they have no answers when there is a when they face a challenge. They do not know who to turn to. Sometimes they have to turn to even giving up their hope. Because they have no hope. They have no hope. They do not know that there is, that is a hope. Because Christ offered a hope. We are saved by hope. And hope is in God. We must be strong, not only in self-sacrifice and in faith, but be strong to press the battle for the truth and the righteousness. To press the battle for truth. That means he says we must be girded with the loins, the belt of truth. The truth is God's word. We must have God's word with us. And righteousness is the respect of righteousness. <coughs> and to live worthy of our calling. And to give to every man who asks us of the reason concerning the hope that is. Can you answer, give an answer to every man of the hope that is Be ready to give an answer to every man. We must be ready. Then you will be able to fight this war. Fight this war. So this is what uh, I would think that it is good that we should need to rekindle our life. That Christian warfare is a life of death and urgency. Urgency. Christian warfare is a life and death urgency. It is a matter of overcome or being overcome. There are no reserves in the Lord's army. Don't be a reserve. Don't be a reserve soldier. Every Christian is an active duty every moment. If we fight less than a full determination to win the victory in the strength of the Lord, we will surely lose our reward. Are you Luke, in the Lord's army today? Are you serving faithfully in His forces? Let us look at the example of Paul. That he has done so much. And at the end of the day, he said that I have fought a good fight of faith. I have finished the course. I have run the race. Hence,
hence that is a reward for me. That is a reward for those who have finished the race, who have fought the good fight of him. And there is a crown of life for me. And not to me only, but to all those who love his appearing. That's what we need to remember. Let us meditate seriously on what we need to arm ourselves with as soldiers of Christ. We need to move and march as soldiers. We you know the quality of a soldier? I'm sure uh, the answer knows in that they are very disciplined. We need to be disciplined. We need to have order. We need to follow the order. And we need to go on in this life as a soldier, not as a reserve. Let us remember that. And those who are not enlisted, I would urge you to enroll while Christ is still pleading with you. And if there's a song selected, 418, which is Onward Christian Soldiers, marching on to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Shall we sing the song? Then we stand up. Onward, Christian.